Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Karen's Math Hacks. I was talking with a student the other day about ratios. and She was having a hard time figuring out where you could cancel and where you couldn't. So we came up with a trick. Let me show you. All right, let's look at a ratio where it isn't really obvious what the relationships between the two parts are. Let's take uh, 9 over 5 equals 432 over X. You're like, wow, what a pain in the butt that looks like, right? So what we do is that we do our cross multiplication, but we don't actually do the multiplication. We just set it up. So it's 9X equals 5 times 432, right? And then we want the X on its own side, so we divide by 9, and we get this. All right? So I'm, I'm going to get rid of this part. This is what we've got. At this point, we can break numbers down to see if we can take anything out. So 9 divides into 3 times 3. 432, okay, I'm trying to get 3s here, so let's take a 3 out. 3, and we got uh, that makes this 144. Let's take a nut. Now split this 144, we got another 3 here, right? Makes this 12 and 24, so that is 48. So now we can cancel these 3s and these 3s. And we get x equals 5 times 48. Because that's all that's left here, right? We got rid of this, and this is all there is here, plus the 5. And the 5. 5 times 48 is 240. Let's look at another example. Alright, let's do 25 over 35 equals 15 over x. Okay, I see 5's all over the place, but where can we pull them out and where can't we, right? So let's lay this out as if we were going to do the cross multiplication. x equals... 15 times 35 divided by 25. Okay, we know that 25 gives us 5 times 5. The 15 gives us 3 times 5. And the 35 gives us 7 times 5. So we can cancel out a 5 here and a 5 here, and a 5 here and a 5 here. And we get 3 times 7 equals 21. Let's look at one more. All right, let's go 14 over 12 equals 42 over x. All right. We write it like we're going to do the cross multiplying. 12 times 42 divided by 14. Okay, now let's split things up. This is 2 times 7. That's all the more we can do with it. 42 is 6 times 7, and 12 is 2 times 6. So we can cancel the 2 and the 7, and then we have 6 times 6 is 36. Hey, one more thing. I've now got a web page, drkarensmathhacks.com. I've got all my YouTube videos organized there so you can find what you're looking for, and my Medium articles, as well as a link for my book if you want to buy that. So if you liked this video, like, share, subscribe, and stop by my web page.